Hello, welcome back in the waters. Yay. First things first, I think we'll go to the bloom again. But again, we need some oxygen. This is very bad for oxygen. Then you can pick them up with the last song. We need to get that sound to understand the bloom. This facility it's right in the middle of the blue. It may have been the what caused it. Maybe they had some fertilizer. Maybe they were manufacturing them. Maybe this this was a farm. Fertilizer spread into the water. Causing algae outburst, overgrown. And that's why the blue Choked with work and sand, the metal chamber is deathly still. The angular shapes of industrial machinery light. The pillars which stretch up towards the cavernous roof of the chamber are warped and distorted, barely able to hold the weight. All of the work still in the middle of the chamber seem to have come down and was burned most of the room. Look, the tank, it is filled with microbial growth. Not fast this place. Be careful, the water will be just as toxic as it is above in the bloom. The dark hole in the floor is spewing out the same microbial currents as seen in the bloom above. It's all around the vent remains. This side of the vast tank has been coated away and melted by the incredibly dense volume of light bulbs inside. Huge volumes of rock and sand must have smashed through the layers of the city, very many things at once. This shattered tank is dense with microbes, thick from webs of growth, stretches across the suit's visor, filling the lamp light as it gleams. Whatever it was a control room of storage shed, this room has been totally crashed by the facility's collapse. Sir, Dr. Hess has just arrived from site one. Signed through. Constantine has full clearance. The building stretches deep into the bedroom below the bloom. What's its purpose? The shell of some product maintenance vehicle slowed the sand. It's top a garden of microbial growth. Angular plates piled with sand are all that remains of the room and structures that divided up this level of the facility. Bicol containers marked with nail blue yellow biohazard tape. What were they shipping? Let's see. 
This is no lab. This is an industrial facility. This container will have carried some vital resource for its operation. Fuel, perhaps? Perhaps. Coking machines built for industrial use sit covered in a fine layer of sand and rope, which is the place where people worked. Once the sealed tube stretching from floor to ceiling, just now it is just around round hole in the floor. to be something else. There's a wall, there's has to be something. We haven't learned anything. But I think that this is I say that this is I think the main reason for the bloom. samples of consoles must control the operations within the tank and the tank's coordinates are turned into the spam. These white pipes look to have been connected to the whole stand. They must have controlled the outflow of whatever was produced here. These pipes, those tanks, this facility was all putting huge volumes of some needed plant's atmosphere. Maintenance on the south hall is continuing. I'm seeing a massive pressure spike here. Control! This has to have been a general engineering project, a way of changing the glass 667cc. But look at this place. It's separate to the clubs. What would we... The tank stands in a huge hall, its pipes leading off into the dark. Its facility was not built to study this planet, but to change it. Worms of green microbial froth flew from the bridge tank. Are these microbes even local to this planet? Or did Baiko bring them here? Passage between the two halls of the facility, this place might have been impressive when it was in full operation. The central tank has held back the sand and rock, but it leads unsettling it forward into the hall. A fully sealed tank is up through the center of the hall, its sheer sides streaked with gold from the southern tank. 
The connection between this console and the tank is less clean through. Is this what stopped it from breaching? A rising wolf sand leans heavily against the tank, burning tons of equipment and who knows what else beneath its logs. A large access hatch to the floor above lies open, its ladder corroded into the twisted, rusty spine. Yes, sir. Atmospheric density is increasing ahead of schedule. Please inform the board. They will be pleased. The rows of sand truck desks, rusted consoles, and dim monitors make it clear this was the facility's control room. Preserved by the low flow of water inside the control room, the smoothed out shapes of human bones are scattered across the floor. Here, this is where they controlled this place once. They were changing this planet, manipulating it. It's these vast tanks of engineered microbes were their tools. Algae changed the atmosphere of Earth billions of years ago. These creatures were meant to do the same. But by accident, of sabotage, this containment was breached. These idiots! They could have killed every last species on this planet. In an app in a global, global bloom, somehow the reef survived, somehow the stocks held on, tried to revert our mistake. Humans don't deserve this planet. We didn't deserve to find life. I've seen enough. Scan what's left and I'll take a look back at base. Let's find a way out of here. No, no, oh god, the duck is bridged. The artificials. I didn't mean. Constantine, what are you? Step away from the console. I'm sorry. The control room's evacuation hatch hangs open, piles of rock and sand all around. Despite the cave in, this console is surprisingly pristine. A cop sitting beside one of the monitors where it was placed decades before. We are doing the artificials a favor. Despite all their abilities, they couldn't manifest this kind of planetary change. Who are the artificials? Between the overhanging tank and the buckled twisted walls, a clear corridor leads forward. Crushed by the rock falls, broken open containers reveal rich patches of microbial growth, like miniature gardens. A row of corrupted consoles right up to an umbilical connection which has been cut away. A sun dusted chair. Props up the remains of a suit, the faceplate clouded with rich green growth. Control, I'm slicing it before it cascades. Clear the reactor chamber. The bacterial outflow is about to hit. There's still one floor beneath. These tanks all were breached with explosive force, the remains corroding away over the decades that followed the violence act. Okay, 
Ja. Und wo ist denn die Pass? The oldest and largest microbial colonies lie here. Great transfusion green bubbles made from millions upon millions of microbes. The lamps, the old grove, this is where the bloom began. There is no native microbe. It is lab grown, built to convert light into power and oxygen. A vast microbial full cell, designed to thicken the atmosphere of this planet to low down, but when in British containment, and suppress anything still lives on this planet. Must have been devastating. Gleaming in the green, these vast reflector lamps sit at the base of the tank. Must have lined the walls of the container, beaming in light. This is why no one escaped the facility. The tunnel is sealed. The control room's escape route cut off. Uh. Sealed at both ends. This corridor is pristinely preserved. The bike or bike is still visible on the greening walls. A second seal locks off the corridor at the other end. They made sure no one would escape. Is out into a small shelf overlooking a rift that's correctly cut into the rock. Back in the open water, the current at this end of the rift slowly pushes against the sea. Above the steep rift wall meets the shelf of the balloon. We should have enough. This is the place. We've been here so many times. We've been here. I've been working with the data we've extracted from the facility. What they did there, it's terrible. They could have wiped out life on this planet. Michael should have known better than to mess with the entire planet's ecosystem. The failure of the facility was catastrophic. The bloom dominated half of the planet. As far as I can tell, it wiped out the artificials. Think about the skeletons in the bloom. But the rest of the planetary eco ecosystem reacted somehow, resisted pushed the bloom back. I don't understand how life could have adapted to the change in conditions so quickly though. It's as if they evolved to meet the challenges of the bloom in mere decades. It's impossible. 
Let's keep looking. There's another facility to investigate out to the east. There has to be more to this. The discovery of bloom froth colonies inside two, such as the bloom microbes, are laboratory adapted cyanobacteria developed for power generation and terraforming. Michael's original intention might have been to oxygenate the atmosphere of Glee 667cc, thickening the atmosphere to offset atmospheric warming due to its steadily locked orbit. But when the terraforming site was breached and this species reached the open water that visited a massive ecological disaster on this planet, how did this planet survive? This aggressive species should have turned this ocean green, flooding it with neurotoxins. Such, uh, such, an, such an adaptive, aggressive, genetically, genetically modified species still plowed by every biological sanction we have. I am preserving these samples as evidence of their crimes. One day Baikal will pay for this. And that is going to be the end for today. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!